Hey guys, Daniel here from Next Level Christianity. We are so happy that you are now watching this video. Um, what God has been doing is, is beyond us. It's very exciting to be in all of this, to be in the midst of revival pretty much, uh, in different homes and in, in people's lives, seeing people come to the reality of that, hey, Jesus Christ loves them. And not only that, but Jesus Christ wants to use them for things that they thought that they never could be used for. You know, when people are stuck in bondage, uh, they're always looking for other places to get help. But when you're in bondage, there's only one person that can set you free. His name's Jesus Christ. He's the best counselor, he's the best psychologist, and he's the best doctor. So now, why not call out to him in the day of trouble and he will deliver you, right? Um, you're gonna see in this video, you're gonna see a woman named Myra who has been in previous videos. Um, she has had a prayer and her prayer is that the Lord would visit her family and start to deliver her family. You know, I'm only the messenger, guys. I'm just the guy that, that, that threw his hands up to heaven and said, Lord, use me. And that God answered my prayer and answered her prayer and connected us. And, and here we are today, right? We're here. We're serving the Lord. And Jesus Christ is doing amazing things. So you're seeing her family one by one get touched by God and receiving the freedom that they asked for. Now, while you watch these videos, I pray that you're becoming encouraged. I pray that you're receiving impartations. I pray that you're receiving grace that you didn't have before to know that you can do the same thing and to know that God has a special plan and destiny in your life. So guys, don't be scared. Don't let fear hold you back. Step out in faith. Remember, Hebrews 11:6 6 says, faith is the only way to please God. Use faith to reach destiny and to also make his supernatural power known here on earth. As in heaven, let it be on earth, right? So guys, we love you. Stay expectant. God's doing so much with Next Level Christianity, and our goal is to awaken the children of God and to show them exactly who they're called to be and also to set the captives free and to heal those that need healing. So guys, we do what we're supposed to do because Jesus has told us to do it. We love each one of you, and from me and the rest of Next Level Christianity, be encouraged and enjoy this video and let it touch your hearts. Jesus took it. You are not supposed to carry it. You want to give it away? I don't want to give it to you because it's enough for you. This is me. No, she doesn't want to give it to Jesus. Hey, but you have to. Watch. Hey, Jesus Christo, look. He went to the cross for you and for her. For everybody, you know, today you're going to have a realization of the Father that loves you, okay? Okay? That cares about you, that's going to protect you, and you'll be able to treat her the right way because I know it's hard when you don't have, you don't have a father and mother, right? She does. She does. But they're not involved strongly in the love. No, no, no. But that affects the young person, right? I grew up in a divorce family. I was in court back and forth between my parents a lot, you know? I know what it does to a young child. I was around your age, and I got very angry, you know? I understand what you're going through. I've been there, all right? But I, I got over it. And guess what? I serve Jesus Christ, and I'm after my family, you know? And they're not going to get away. You need to do the same thing. Really. So you don't have to go through the hell like somebody like that had to that chose the wrong choices, okay? There's a way, a better way, His name is Jesus, and He loves you so much. And at the end of the day, you're going to be seeing Him anyway. Faith that Jesus is doing something. He did something for her, He'll do something for both of you, okay? You want me to, you want me to pray for you? Yes, You can't, but no, you can't hold the burden. You can't be the rock. Jesus is the rock. And the problem is, is they made you the rock. Can you pray this with me? Well, now today you're really going to meet him. Can you 
you say Jesus? Yeah, yeah. Can you help me? Forgive me for trying to carry my family's burden. I want to give. I want to give my family to you, and I give you control from this day forward. They are yours. I need you to bless my family and let them prosper. I say, Satan. You cannot have me or my family. I rebuke you and I remove you from attacking my family. In Jesus' name. Amen. I break the generational curse of witchcraft off of my life and off of my family life. Holy Spirit and Spiritual Santa, I give you permission to take over my family and to take over me. So Jesus, make, make your home in my heart in my family and completely forgive me and I forgive everybody who has hurt me I give them to you I give them to you in Jesus name Amen that's good huh you know what you do there's a line and there's a line. You go, and Jesus goes, and gets them both. You want to be Jesus? You want to know him? You want to be created? You want to be thought about you? Every part of you? Even all your hair? You want to know? He says that he even knows the hairs on your head, each and every one. It's a lot. That's how much Jesus knows about you. He knows everything you do in the secret place you can't run from him because he loves you. Okay? And the Holy Spirit is who's here. When he went back to heaven, he left the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is who's doing everything you see. I'm not doing anything. He's doing everything. Okay? He just talks to me. Okay? Can you say, Jesus? I want to know you. I want to meet you. I want you to make your home in your life. I want you to help me. There's some things I've been holding inside. And I give them to you. I give them all to you. I give my life to you. Will you give your life to me? Do you want to give your life to me? Do you believe he's going to take your life? Yeah, because he is. Say, Jesus. And you forgive me of every sin. And I forgive everybody who's hurt me. I forgive my mother and my father. Because they don't know what they're doing. They haven't met you the way they're supposed to. So Jesus, I'm yours. And also, Chase my mom and dad down and restore what the devil stole in Jesus' name. Welcome to the kingdom. Because God, you know what? Because Come on, Holy Ghost. Say, let her go. Let her go. Let this woman go right now. Up and out all the way. All the way. Every witchcraft spirit, release her right now. Up and out of her, all the way. Right now, Satan, all this heaviness, this spirit of heaviness, 
all this pain go right now in Jesus' name. Come, Holy Ghost. Free your brand new heart. No more pain. Freedom. Freedom. All fear go. The spirit of fear, you leave her right now in Jesus' name. That generational curse of witchcraft, I break it off of her right now in Jesus' name. No more. Let her go right now. All those spirit, that burden-bearing spirit, I release you from it. That spirit of lust that has followed your family, I release you from it. That unclean spirit, I release you from it. I release you from it right now in Jesus' name. Freedom. Freedom all the way. Up and out of her. Up and out of her. Let her go. Leave her right now. You spirit of infirmity. You spirit of death. You spirit of witchcraft. You Jezebel spirit of control. I break you right now, you Jezebel spirit. You let her go right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name all the way. Now come, Holy Spirit, touch her. From the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Come, anoint her. Anoint her right now. More. More, Holy Spirit. More. More, more Holy Spirit, more Jesus, and all the pain, all the pain, all the pain, come Holy Spirit, more, more Jesus, you are forgiven, all those burdens in me, every burden bearing spirit go right now, Jesus says my burden is light, carry his burden, Anxiety, all the stress. I pray for a brand new heart right now, Jesus, for heaven. Give her a brand new heart right now. Brand new heart. A heart of peace, not a heart of pain. All right now. A brand new heart in Jesus' name. A brand new heart. I pray right now you baptize her in the Holy Ghost and fire right now, Jesus. Fire. Purify and fire right now. Jesus. All of it came out, ain't that good? <laughs> <laughs> that reminds you of it all. <laughs> Your chest is burning. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep some Holy Spirit. I need you. Jesus, baptize me in the Holy Ghost and fire. Say I break <clears throat> every generational curse. Which one? All from my life. all pain. I pray that now. Freedom. Freedom from all the hurt. Freedom from the pain of your family breaking up. I command that to leave you right now in Jesus' name. I command right now. That when you leave this girl right now, you can't have her anymore. You come up and out of her and you release her right now. Come, Holy Spirit, more. More, Holy Spirit. More of you, Holy Ghost. She needs you. Jesus. Jesus. Your heart? What do you feel? Listen to those who came before you. See what I'm saying? Trust me. 
I have to even do that still to this day. I'm 28 years old. A lot of these people came before me. <laughs> you know? But I'm listening to the Holy Spirit, and that's what I want you to learn about. Right? Love you to the people. Okay. Awesome. I'm going to pray for you, and a lot of things are going to change. Right? Can we get Jesus there where he belongs? Can you pray with me something? If I say it, you can repeat it. You can do that. Can you say Jesus Christ? I need help. I need it really bad. Yeah. Yeah. So now I'm going to open my heart to you. I'm going to even let you go into my past. And heal those wounds. And I need you to forgive me, Jesus. Of every sin. Of every sin. Because you took it all to the cross. Took it all to the cross. Now, Jesus Christ, I need you to be my Lord and my Savior. And I need to meet you and experience you a way that I never have before. And I need you to deliver me and to heal me. So, Jesus Christ, I surrender my life to you. And I give it all to you. In Jesus' name. Amen. So, that's first thing. Yeah, you saved yourself. Welcome to heaven. Now, well, he saved you, right? You're good. Okay, so now we're going to the forgiveness, all right? I don't No, 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 don't say that. I know, I know. You got to. What do you call it? What do you, sarcasm. Yeah. 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 But guess what? That's a defense mechanism. I know. Uh oh. I know. And I'll catch you back if it. Oh, I know. That's my wall. Yeah. So look, let's forgive. Do you know every person right now you need to forgive? Yeah. So what will happen is when we pray this prayer, the Holy Spirit Himself is going to bring certain things into your mind. And you're going to be an oldest person, this person. And you just look. Here's what you do. With your mouth, this is life and death, and the power of the tongue, you release them, and God grabs them, and He takes care of them. Do you understand? You understand? Okay. So say this. You have a Father in Heaven. You know that, right? Daddy loves you a lot. So say, Father, I have some people. I need to forgive. I need to forgive. I need to give them to you. I need to give them to you. They've been on my heart. Come on. her tongue so she can speak right? in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Okay. So say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. I need to forgive. I need to forgive. Name them. <laughs> now I need, need you to say something. And I need you to, most importantly, I need you to forgive yourself. Okay. Just say, Jesus. Jesus. I give you me. I forgive myself for all the past. Now, Lord, I need to break generational curses. I need to break generational curses. I need to break them now. I break the generational curse of witchcraft. Generational curse. Curse of witchcraft. Off of my life. What else has happened to you that you need to break off? A lot of the same stuff. You don't know? Abuse. Yeah. Is it giving God the right to go and start working in their lives and fixing them? Because we wish, 
I know you're mad, you're hurt, but we wish this stuff on nobody. We can't because they deserve I, the same thing. I, I know. You weren't saying that before. That's good. Okay. Anything else? Anybody else? Okay, I'm going to do something. I'm going to put my head in the cast. I'm going to say Right now, Satan, I command you to let her go right now in Jesus' name. I command you to come up and out of her and release her right now in Jesus' name. All the witchcraft, all the hurt, and all the anger, I command you to release her right now. All pride, I command you to go right now in Jesus' name. So right now, up and out, all the way. All the way, Satan, up and out of her right now. Completely leave her. Up and out, all the way. All the pain, go right now. Up and out, all the way. All the way in Jesus' name. Every bit of pain. All the hurt from the past, all the witchcraft, that curse spoken over you, I release it right now in Jesus' name. All the anger, all the people that have hurt you, all the bitterness, all of that, I break it and I rebuke it. I rebuke the curse of witchcraft off of your life right now. You release her and you don't say no. You release her right now in Jesus' name. Come up and out. Come, Holy Spirit. Come on. 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 Yes, come on. Break the spirit of infirmity off of you right now in Jesus' name. I, I pray healing to this thyroid right now. Brand new thyroid in Jesus' name. Brand new back. I command all the scars to leave right now in Jesus' name. Every scar leave. All bruising leave right now. Complete healing in this woman's body right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You don't feel... I need to know what's going on with you, Daddy. I'm burning. <laughs> That's burning me inside. It's like a, 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 a it's almost like fire, right? Burning all up in here, right? Okay. The Bible says, I will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Luke 3 16. Jesus says, I will baptize with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Amen. <laughs> He loves you. You feel empty? Huh? It's burning. It's my face. It's burning all over my face. All over your body. My chest. That's a good thing. I feel different. Pray this with me, okay? Mm -hmm. Say, Holy Spirit, oh, I need you to fill all the empty places all the empty place. where this junk came out. Mm -hmm. I need you to fill me up right now. Mm -hmm. Fill me up right now. And also heal every part of my body. Heal every part of my body. And my soul. My soul. In Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Jesus, right now, you baptize her in the Holy Ghost. Baptize her in the Holy Ghost. More Jesus. More Jesus. More Jesus. Also, break every bit of doubt and unbelief that's been over your life. I break that off right now in Jesus' name. Freedom. It's been a life change from this day forward. Your life will not be the same. It will change. You will prosper. You'll see forgiveness. You'll see you won't be as angry. You'll see me be able to show love when you couldn't show love before. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen.
you guys. We have another awesome Jesus encounter. Um, I know we recognize some people here. By the time you see this video, you'll see Hi. Jody, who's famous now. And, uh, <laughs> anyway, Jesus has really showed up and touched your lives. They drove from how far away? Davenport. Davenport. All the way here just to receive um, freedom and deliverance and healing from things that have been holding them down for years from their past. And uh, yeah, I just want them to give a little bit of testimony of what Jesus Christ has done for them. So I want to start with the young lady. Ariana. So you accepted Jesus today, right? Yeah. You said you experienced something. What did you experience? Oh. So Jesus gave you his heart. That's what that means. Isn't that pretty awesome? <laughs> and then my friend Nanette right here. I did feel a lot. I have a burden. A lot of burden off my chest. Which is a good thing. A lot of the past. Sustain in the past. If you could tell anybody what you've learned about forgiveness, what would it be? Let it go. Forgive. Forget, release, 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 release. Yeah. Move on. She was telling me something when I first met her about forgiving and forgetting. But I said, well, we can forgive, but it's still there, and we just can't let it hurt us anymore. And I think that's the biggest revelation that helped her a lot, right? Because we need to be able to see our past and not be hurt by it anymore. Me? I feel much better. Yeah. Least thing I ever again. She kicked it all out. Yeah. So and Jesus. Yeah. So uh, Jody, what do you think? It's I'm saying all this. It's a great thing. I seem to not happy now. She's cried like she's never cried in a long time, releasing all the ugly, and now she's feeling more peaceful. So listen, there's freedom in Jesus Christ. And look, guys, if Jesus will do it for them, He did it for me. He'll do it for you. But the only way you get it is you have to take that step of faith and you have to go get him. and Because uh, he's actually ready to get you more than you think. So look guys, we love you all. And this is Next Level Christianity.